How's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of the image URLs out of a selected web page using Python and Selenium. In previous videos, I have described how to set up your Chrome driver in a basic. This is accomplished with these three imports, the web driver, this by library and service. You set the location of your Chrome driver you instantiate the driver and you get the page. This is all very basic stuff, but once the page is, we wanna manipulate the page. We want to find elements and manipulate those elements and print those elements and store those and store attributes of those elements, right? So that's where this tutorial comes in. So let's start. So we have a, this basic script here. It ends at line 10, let's run it. What this does is it opens up my website, corba.com. Okay, and let's say I wanna get the URL of every single image on this web page. Well, to do that, I would do list images equals driver dot find elements by equals by dot tag name. This is the critical part. So make sure it says by equals by dot tag name. That allows us to do this part where we pass in the tag name of it. So now what this will do is it will retrieve every element with the image tag in it. Now, once we have all of those elements, we want to iterate over them. Because we used this find elements method, it returned a list of elements, and we have to iterate over the list of elements and pick out the specific attribute. So, we start with i equals zero, which is a simple counter, and we're going to begin to over the list of images and so we do while i is less than the length of the list of images we print list of images of i dot get attribute and the attribute we want to get is the src attribute so that's the uh, the you know the url and then we increment our counter i equals i plus one now let's run that and here you can see every on that web page. Now let's say we wanted to pull out, I don't know, let's say we wanted to pull out the alternate alt text. Do these have alt text? Let's see some other properties maybe we can try and pull out. Spec, where are you, what was that? IMG, SRC, maybe width. Let's try, yeah, let's try width, W-I-D-T-H. Looks like not all the images have a width attribute. So what you would probably end up doing is wrapping that in a try catch block so it doesn't error and it continues on. But so here are all the of the images that have width. So it's another thing you have to account for is that maybe the attribute that you're selecting doesn't have all of the, or the, you know, the image doesn't, might not necessarily have that attribute. So you have to wrap it in a try catch block so you don't have this error. But yeah, what else? What, let's see some other stuff. I don't know, maybe class. Let's see, what kind of class names are on these images? So there are all the class names. This is really good if, if you're managing a website and uh, you want to automate, you know, some things. It's just a really great way to, to access the information of that website. So I hope that helped. If you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I'm always uh, trying to improve these videos. I just started this channel, and I think the videos are going to get a lot better and better. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.